Hey there! In this video I will tell you what is GSX, why we are using it in React, and how to add GS code inside the GSX markup. So, GSX is a syntax which looks like HTML, but it is actually a JavaScript code. When React files are compiled to be consumed by the browser, this markup became just the pure GS code. But there are the details which should not bother you at all at the beginning of your React journey. There are a couple of main differences between JSX and HTML if it comes to writing code. Let's look at them. Most of arguments in JSX uh, could look differently. For example, the most used class attribute from HTML will be the class name in JSX. Or, for example, onclick HTML event with all lowercase case letters will be in camel case like this on click in general almost all attributes will be in camel case the second thing all the tags in JSX should always be closed or have like corresponding closing tags in HTML it's not always the case uh, Let's write some code, for example, emg tag. And let's say we want to write it as in HTML without closing it. So we will add src attribute and alt attribute. As, not scr, but src. And as you see, we have an error that there are no closing tag. So if we will close it, everything is cool. So always remember to close your tags in JSX. When you have a code of React component, the markup should always be wrapped up in a single tag. Uh, it could be, for example, a div component um, a div tag or a section tag, but the most efficient is to use the fragment element from React. It is a special empty tag with uh, just for this purpose. In result in HTML there will be no any tag in place of fragment, so we are reducing the number of tags and the uh, so-called divities, <laughs> like when we have a lot of divs with no purpose. Um, the fragment is look just like that, empty tag. Uh, one of the important things, the most important, we can inject JS code inside the JSX markup with curly braces. Uh, for now on, we were writing the values of the attributes as hard-coded values, which were put inside quotes. React allows you to use JavaScript code inside GSX markup by using curly braces. It could be a variable, a function call, or the if statement, just any JavaScript code, in fact. Let's see how it could look like. So let's define a variable const my name calls John Doe. Okay. And for example, we have we have a variable, and we can, for example, provide it here with heading, and and let's say name equals my name, and that's it. Uh, you have curly braces, and you can use any JavaScript code here inside it. And let's, for example, make a function call inside the curly braces. Let's add, for example, on click to this image. How to do that? We will write on click, and here we can make an error function and I don't know, alert my name, 
cool. And let's see if it works. Uh, oh, all right. There are no image. Uh, right, let's add h1 with my name. And let's add this on click to this h1. And here we have this h1 and on click we should have an alert. And as you see, everything is works is working fine. All right, that was the main uh, features which you should know about JSX. Check the description for more information uh, and uh, write the GSX, some GSX on your own and happy coding.